we have finished putting the seven buttons as you can see our pattern is already showing the shape of our safari suit the last thing yes 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 okay good morning good afternoon good evening ladies and gentlemen from wherever you're watching from welcome back to top stitch tailoring studio and in today's video we are having a practical pattern drafting class where we will be drafting this beautiful safari suit as per these two requests using simple and simplify the step by step method that i will be showing you also you will get to know some of the fashion terminologies that i used in safari suit drafting so ladies and gentlemen let us jump straight to our practical class okay as per suit and jacket norms we always begin by drafting the back pattern first then it's the back that we will use to guide us in drafting the front so i first draw this vertical straight line on one side of my pattern paper which will be my safari suit center back guideline also i draw one horizontal straight line on top of my pattern paper which will also be my neckline as well as shoulder line guide as you can see these two lines are ready now i go ahead and label this as point a which will be my starting point for most of my calculated body measurement as per this body measurement table that are required for our safari suit drafting okay first i will begin by placing vertically all the horizontal working lines for the back so from starting point a i measure downwards safari suit full length plus 0 0.5 inch for length is in this tutorial my safari suit full length is 30 inches when i add 0 0.5 inch is allowance giving me a total of 30.5 inches so i mark 30.5 inches here after i square across a straight line like this then i label this as safari suit hemline or you can say full length after i now insert bottom hem allowance line so from this hem line i mark downwards 1.5 inch hem allowance still i square across a straight line like this also i label this as hem allowance line after i now proceed to insert the chest line as well as I'm whole seat so from starting point a measure downwards your chest measurement divide by four so for me in this video my chest measurement is at eight inches i divide by four giving me 9.5 inches i mark here my 9.5 inches after i square across a straight line like this next is to determine my belly you can say tummy or stomach line so from starting point a measure downwards your safari suit full length plus 0 0.5 inch is allowance divide by two giving you the answer so my safari suit full length in this video is 30 inches plus 0 0.5 inch is allowance giving me 30.5 inches so i get 30.5 inches i divide by 2 giving me 15.25 inches i add 1.5 inch 1.5 inches giving me 16.75 inches so i mark 16.75 inches here after i square across a straight line like this 
still I label this line as belly or you can say tummy line. Okay. Okay. Yes. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, the last horizontal line for me to place vertically is across the back depth line. Come here at chest line. Mark upwards your chest measurement divided by 24 giving you the answer in this video my chest measurement is 38 inches when i divide it by 24 giving me 1.58 inches so i mark my 1.58 inches here after i square across a straight line like so still i label this as across back guys you may be hearing across back, but you don't know what it means. Across the back is an horizontal width measured from armhole to armhole from the back side of your body. Also, we have across the front, which is measured from armhole to armhole from the front side of your body. That is it. We continue. Now, we are done with determining and placing these six horizontal lines vertically. Next is to shape the back center line. As you know, our back is never straight. So, to come up with that curvy movement at the back, we have to shape it in this way. I come to the chest line. I mark inwards 0 0.5 inches. I come to the belly line, I mark inwards zero, I mean I mark inwards one inch. Also at the hem allowance line, I mark inwards one inch all the way to the hem allowance line. Then I connect these points together in this way to create that shaping at the back. Now I'm done with the shaping the back. Next is to insert my safari suit body measurement to these horizontal lines. I begin with the neck. Come here at starting point A. Measure inwards your chest measurement divided by 12 or your round neck divided by 5. You can use any of these formula of these formulas and you choose the one that works best for you but as for me in this tutorial i'll go with the chest measurement divided by 12 so my chest measurement is 38 when i divide by 12 giving me 3.16 inches so i mark here my 3.16 inches still at this point i mark upwards 0 0.5 inch for my back neck uh, for my back and neck depths then i connect it back to this line in a curvy way like this next is to work on the shoulders from starting point a measure inwards your shoulder to shoulder measurements divided by 2 plus 0 0.5 inch for seam allowance so for me my shoulder to shoulder is 16.75 inches i divide by 2 giving me 8.375 inch plus 0 0.5 inch seam allowance giving me 8.875 inches so i mark my 8.875 inches here still from this point i slant my shoulders downwards by 1.5 inches After I connect this point to this point like this to create the shoulder slope line. Next is to insert safari suit across back with this. I come to this across back line at this point. I measure inwards chest measurement divided by 4 minus 1 inch. In this video, my chest measurement is 38. I divide by 4, giving me 9.5 inches. So, 9.5 inches, I minus 1 inch, 
I remain with 8.5 inches. So I mark 8.5 inches here for across back with this. Then I connect this point to this point of shoulder drop to create my back arm line rise. After I mark 0 0.5 inches here for seam allowance or joining allowance. Next, I come to the belly line. What I got here at across back, which is 8.5 inches, I copy it to the belly line minus 1 inch. So from here, I measure inwards 8.5 inches minus 1 inch, giving me 7.5 inches. Still, this 7.5 inches, I transfer it to hemline. So from this point, I measure inwards 7.5 inches plus 0 0.75 inches. After I connect this point to this point and this point together to create back side seam line. Ladies and gentlemen, so far, from where we started our safari suit drafting up to here if you have been left behind or there is anything you haven't understood please feel free to reach me in the comment section down below or you can still whatsapp me my contacts are attached in the description box down below also don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel that's the biggest support i need from you and if you are a returning viewer please i say thank you so much for coming back to my channel yes i'm very happy to be in front of you in your screen gadgets thank you so much for loving top stitch tailoring studio okay guys let us continue next is to insert my back vent i come to the hemline I measure upwards my back vent of 9 inches. Then I square a line like this. After I mark my vent with this of 2 inches here, still I square down a straight line in this way. Don't forget to add vent seam allowance of 1 inch. So I mark here 1 inch. So here is my seam allowance. Guys, we are almost done. But before I proceed with the trimming, let me mark with you the outline of my seam allowances of 0 0.5 inches all round. So you mark 0 0.5 inches all round like this. Guys, if you haven't liked this video since we started, please, I request you like this video and also share it. That's the only support I need from you. Because when I see many of you liking my videos, it motivates and gives me a lot of morale to create more videos. So guys, just give this video a like. And if you are a returning viewer, I say thank you. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe hit that subscribe button don't forget to turn the notification bell on so that you'll be notified whenever i upload new videos so guys we are done with the back pattern and while cutting on fabric you cut two pieces on fabric one for the left side and then the other is for the right side of your back don't forget to indicate this side of your safari suit is the center back line, is the center back. Then this side is your safari suit back side seam line. Now, all my markings are done. Then the next thing is to trim our safari suit back pattern. <laughs>
So guys, now our safari suit back pattern is ready and it is this back part pattern that we are going to use for drafting the front pattern too. Okay, 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 okay. Now for the front, I first draw this vertical straight line to guide in getting other lines. After I lay my back pattern in this way, then I trace out these horizontal lines in this way. After, since we are drafting the front part, we have to include across the front depth line. So, I come here at this chest line, I measure upwards chest measurement divided by 16 for across front depth line. So my chest is 38, I divide by 16, giving me 2.37 inches. So I mark 2.37 inches here. After I square across a straight line, still I label this as across front. And this one, and this one, chest line, tummy line, hemline. After, next is to create working space for my allowance, for my allowances at the front, just in case. So, I come here, I mark inwards one inch, here all the way to down. After, I square up a straight line like this. So this line will now be my center front button guide line. Okay, okay, please like this video. We continue. This point, this point will now be my starting point for all my front body measurement placement. Now, at this point, I measure inwards chest measurement divided by 12 for my neck with this. In this video, my chest is 38. I divide by 12, giving me 3.16 inches. Or you can still use another formula, which is you get your round chest, I mean your round neck measurements divided by 15, giving, giving you the answer. So you use any of the formula. You can go with chest measurement divided by 12 or your round measurement divided by 5. So as for me, I'm using chest measurement divided by 12. Uh, which is 38 divided by 12 giving me 3.16 inches so i mark my 3.16 inches here for the front neck with this also at this point i mark downwards chest measurements divided by 24 which is chest 38 divided by 24 giving me 1.5 inches so i mark 1.58 inches here for my neck depth. After I square down a mini straight line, still I come here, I measure downwards the neck opening, chest measurement divided by 12, which is my chest 38, I divide by 12, giving me 3.16 inches. But since we are drafting a safari suit, uh, with the buttons, I will customize this to 3.5 inches, but you can still leave it in that way. If you want the opening not to be too much, you can leave it at 3.16 inches. But to me, I want it to be a bit open, so I will customize this 3.16 inches to 3.5 inches. So I mark 3.5 inches here. Then I connect this neck opening point to the neck depth point in a slant way like this. After I create a curvy line appearance for the front neck in this way. After next is to slant my shoulders. I come here at this line. Remember, 
For the back, we slanted by 1.5 inches, but the front, I will slant it by 2 inches. So, I mark my 2 inches here. After I square across a mini straight line like this, at this point, I mark slightly 0 0.25 inches upwards. Then, I bring my back pattern. I lay it in this way. Then, I trace the back shoulders like this. After, I join this point together to create my uh, shoulder to create my front shoulder slant line. Next step is to insert chest measurements. I come here at chest line. I measure inwards chest measurement divided by 4, which is chest 38 divided by 4 giving me 9.5 inches. Here is my 9.5 inches. Then from this 9.5 inches, I measure inwards chest measurement divided by 48 which is chest 38 divided by 48 giving me 0 0.79 inches then i mark 0 0.79 inches here then i square up a mini straight line to create a cross front arm line then after i connect this point to this intersection point at a cross front depth line in this way Also, I come at this point, I measure outwards chest measurement divided by 24, which is chest 38 divided by 24, giving me 1.58 inches. So, I mark my 1.58 inches here. Then, I connect this point to this point to create my safari suit armhole curve line. Also, don't forget to curve this area slightly in this way. Okay, we still continue. Still, I come to the belly line. I measure inwards chest measurements divided by 4, which is my chest is 38. I divide by 4, giving me 9.5 inches. So, I mark 9.5 inches here also at hemline i mark 9.5 inches after i connect these points together like this Okay, okay, yes, ladies and gentlemen, we are done with that. The next step is to mark all around my front panel the 0 0.5 inch seam allowance in this format. And these dotted lines is where your stitches will pass while stitching. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, if you are enjoying this safari suit pattern drafting episode, please, please, please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't. Also, if there is anything you haven't understood or you wish to add on, please feel free to leave a comment in the comment section down below. I would wish to read all your observation views and give you back the reply that's what uh makes actually that's what inspires me most thank you so guys we continue now i'm done with the front panel next is to work on my safari suit side panel first at this point i measure outwards 0 0.5 inches for space between front and side panel then i connect this 0 0.5 inch point to belly point to create my side front seam line after i bring my back pattern draft i measure from this point to this point 
as you can see i have excluded sim allowance i've excluded sim allowance so for this pattern i have eight inches now i come to the chest line at this point i measure inwards minus eight inches for the back chest measurement divided by two which is chest 38 divided by 2 giving me 19 inches so i roll my 19 inches like this then at this point i jump seam allowance space then i continue measuring so here is my 19 inches plus 3 inches lose allowance or is allowance plus 0 0.5 inches seam allowance giving me 3.5 inches so i mark here 3.5 inches after i proceed to the belly line still i get my back pattern at the back belly line i measure from this point to this point excluding seam allowance here i have seven inches so i come here at this point of front part of front part belly line i measure minus seven inches for the back my belly divided by two which is my belly measurement is 34 divided by two giving me 17 inches so i measure continuous my 17 point inches then at this point i still jump seam allowance space then i continue measuring so here is my 17 inches plus 3 inches lose or is allowance plus 0 0.5 inch seam allowance also i get my back pattern at hem allowance i mean at hem line i measure from this point to this point excluding seam allowances here i have 8.75 inches so i come here at this point of front part hem line I measure minus 8.75 inches for the back hip measurements divided by 2. My hip measurements in this video is 40.5 inches divided by 2 giving me 20.25 inches. So I measure continuous 20.25 inches. At this point, I jump seam allowance space. Then I continue measuring. So here is my 20.25 inches plus 3 inch is or lose allowance plus 0 0.5 inch seam allowance. After I connect this point to this point and this point all the way to hem allowance line to create my side panel seam line. Don't forget to blend this sharp corner like this. We still continue. I come here at this point. I mark downwards 0 0.75 inches. Then using my free hand, I draw a curved line to create my safari suit side panel armhole curve line in this way. now the 0 0.75 inches that we moved here i now transfer it here at the bottom hemline so from here i mark downwards 0 0.75 inches then i redraw my bottom hemline in this way still i have to shift my bottom hem allowance line so i mark hem allowance shift of 1.5 inches after i still square a straight line like this then at this original hem line i mark downwards 0 0.5 inches then i connect 
I connect it back to this point like this. Here also I mark 0 0.5 inches. Still I connect to this point like so. Ladies and gentlemen, we are done with working on the side panel hemline and hem allowance lines. Next is to work on the safari suit chest and hip pockets and button placements. So I come at this point, I measure upwards safari suit full length plus 0 0.5 inch is here, my safari full length is 30 inches plus 0 0.5 inch, giving me 30.5 inch, divided by 3, giving me 10.1 inches. So, I mark my 10.1 inches here. Then, I square across a straight line like this. At this, at this line, from this point, I mark inwards 2.5 inches for the distance between center front button and hip pocket placement. So from these 2.5 inches, I measure my safari suit hip pocket width of 5.5 inches and pocket height is 7 inches. Then I square across these points together like this. After I divide my pocket width of 5.5 inches, divide by 2 to get the midpoint. And here is my midpoint. Then at this midpoint, I square down a straight line in this way. Still, I come at this point, I measure downwards 1.5 inches. In the middle, I mark downwards 2.5 inches. Now, I connect these points together in a design way to create that beautiful outlook of the pocket flap like this and here will be our flap button ladies and gentlemen you can continue designing your pocket in any style and any design that you feel like which fits you well and you see it's okay so actually designing it's, it's just the sky, the sky is just the limit. So there is no limit for designing. So you can design your pocket in, in any way you want. But as for me, I've chosen to design my safari suit pockets in this way. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, if you are watching this video and you are in Africa, Asia, Australia, Antarctica, Europe, South America, and North America, please, I'm humbled and I do appreciate, I really do appreciate the support you are showing me, most especially when you like and share my videos, and also when you subscribe, it really puts a smile in my face and gives me more energy and morale to create more videos because it lets me know that uh, what i upload is of value to you and me and really i love doing it and please don't just stop there continue supporting this channel please support 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 indeed so guys we continue as you can see i'm done with the safari suit hip pocket placement next step is to insert the safari suit chest pocket i come here at chest line at this point i measure inwards 2.5 inches for the distance from the center front button line to the chest pocket then at this 2.5 inches point i mark my pocket width of 5 inches also i mark upwards pocket height one inch 
then I first square these lines like this. Still, from this point, I measure downwards my pocket depth of 5 inches here. After, I squared across a straight line like this. After I divide my chest pocket width this into two to get the midpoint. So here is my midpoint. Then at this midpoint, I square down a straight line like this. Next is I come at this chest line. At this point, I mark downwards 0 0.5 inches for the flap design, for the flap design height. Also, this side I mark 0 0.5 inches. Then at the middle line, I come down by 2.5 inches. Still, I copy the same design that we created in the hip pocket. But you can generate any design pocket of your choice as long as you follow this method. So, we are done with both hip and chest pocket placement. Next step is working on the front neck mini lapel for the safari suit. I come here at this point. I mark downwards 3 inches lapel break point. Then I come to this point. I measure outwards 0 0.75 inch for the lapel break line. Then I come to this point. I measure 2.5 inches for my lapel with this. Before I first come here at this point, I mark down outwards 0 0.5 inches. Then I connect it to the lapel with this point like this. So this line will be my lapel break line. Then this one ceases to be part of my working lines. Still, I square down, I square down 0 0.5 inches for safari suit button placement. Then at this point, I mark the position of my first button. Then from this button to the next button, I leave space distance of 2.75 inches here is my second button third button fourth button fifth button sixth button then the seventh button so we have finished putting the seven buttons as you can see our pattern is already showing the shape of our safari suit the last thing now is to trim out our pattern Before we continue before we continue with the trimming I first have to mark the front facing for our safari suit. I come here at this point I mark inwards 1 inch 
but you can make 1.5 or 2 inches depending on how comfortable you want the width of your facing to be. Also here I measure my facing 3.5 inches then at the hemline I measure 3.5 inches. Next I connect these points to create the shape of my facing in this way. Don't forget to curve this area like so. Then this line ceases to be part of my working line. So we now continue with the trimming. Ladies and gentlemen, there are many ways of drafting and cutting a safari suit, but this one I have made it in a simplified way so that even the beginner can understand. Then at the end, he or she is able to come up with his or her own suit. Okay, I hope we have had enough interactive and lively lessons. Oh my god, see how beautiful our safari suit looks on a pattern paper. I can't wait to see you create your own. If you make it, please share it with me. You can send me your pattern draft pictures in my WhatsApp number that I have shared in my description box down below. I would wish to see them and also comment back to you. Let us interact to each other. That's the only way to go. We are now proceeding to trace out our front facing. As you can see, here is our front facing. Ladies and gentlemen, we are done with the draft of both the back and the front as well as the side panel of our safari suit. And this is the outcome of it. Guys, from where we began from up to the end, thank you so much for watching. See you in my next video. That will be the pattern draft of a safari suit collar and sleeves okay 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 i sign out god bless you all shalom